Mm, there's a few things that I cannot stand that people do on Facebook, okay? There is a few things that I just cannot stand that you do on Facebook. Okay, so let's talk about one thing that i seen happen on Facebook. This happened to me recently on Facebook. And this irked my nerves, okay? So, I'm not going to call no names, okay? But this person is one of my YouTube subscribers. And they're also on my Facebook page. So, I have a Facebook page, a unique mystery Facebook page so I sent this person okay back it up okay something else I want to say about this person on YouTube this person has been my subscriber for quite some time I watch their videos you know and I'm active on their channel and they are pretty active on my channel as well I never had any problems with this person or nothing like that. We've even talked before on Facebook. So, you know, I felt that, you know, we were pretty cool. So, what happened to me recently with this person, okay, on Facebook? I have a Facebook unique mystery page, okay? So I sent this person an invitation to my Unique Mystery Facebook page. You know, an invitation. So basically, that's saying you like the page, you give it a thumbs up, and you know, you check it out or whatever. You know, and something happened after I sent them this invitation to my Unique Mystery Facebook page. I was sent back an invitation to their Facebook page. So I was thinking to myself, you know, I try not to think nothing ill about the situation because, like I say, from what I know, we we're pretty cool. So, you know, I didn't felt that it would be a problem for me to send them, you know, like an invitation to my Facebook page. I just thought they would have liked the page, whatever, you know. But when they sent me back an invitation to their Facebook page, I was confused because, I don't know, I thought that you're supposed to at least like my invitation and then send me yours, you know? I don't know. But I said to myself, okay... This person must have already liked my page and I didn't get the notification on Facebook yet that they liked my page because sometimes I get notifications on Facebook pretty late. So I was like, maybe they already liked my page and I just didn't get the notification and they are just sending me theirs now. So with thinking that, I went ahead and I liked their Facebook page. Then... I get a notification saying they liked mine after the fact that I liked theirs. But the problem with that is, how come you just didn't like my page and then send me your invitation? I was the first one that sent it to you, so I would assume that you would like it first and then send me your invitation. I thought that's how it works. I didn't know... I send you an invitation to mine and you just send me an invitation back to yours basically saying to me uh like mine's and I will like yours you know some petty stuff you know I feel that it's pretty petty you know because this person like I have no problems with this person you know I had no problems with this person before this happened but it just made me feel some type of way when this person did this because I'm like, are you serious? 
Like you just couldn't like my page and then send me your invitation? Because if this person had to send me an invitation to their Facebook page first, I guarantee you I wouldn't have a problem to like their page. And then if I wanted them to like mine, then I want to send then I would have sent my invitation. But like I feel that is pretty petty if I send you something and then you send me yours instead of liking mine's first and then sending me yours. You know, that's telling me, oh well, I'm not liking yours unless you like mine or that's basically telling me you're all about yourself or something like that. You know, like what was the problem? Why couldn't you just like the invitation and then send me your invitation? And that's all. You know, that's that's the only thing I was looking for, but I just didn't understand that. So I got kind of confused, and it kind of made me, I don't know. I looked at the person a little different because I'm like, well, dang, you can't just like mine and then send me yours? Like... I thought everything was fine with us. You know, I didn't know it was a problem where you just had to send me yours first. Like, are you all about yourself or what is it? You know, why didn't you just like mine and then send me yours? Like, I don't know. So anyways, that's something that recently happened to me on Facebook that I didn't quite understand. Because basically to me, that's like when you ask somebody a question... And instead of they answering your your question, they send you a question back. Well, they ask you a question back, you know. And I'm thinking, like, didn't I just ask you a question? Why can't you answer it and then ask your question? I didn't know that a question goes with a question. But anyways, that's what happened to me recently on Facebook. And I was not understanding it at all. I don't understand how come if I send you an invitation to my Facebook page, like, and, you know, it's not like we never talk. It's not like we never watch each other videos on YouTube or anything like that. You know, we're active with each other. So I didn't see a problem with me sending you um, an invitation to my unique mystery page on Facebook, you know, to like. I thought you would have just like it. And then, of course, if you want me to like yours, you just send it after that. And I would have liked yours. No problem. But seems like it was a problem because instead of you liking it, you sent me yours right after I sent you mine. Then once I liked yours, you went ahead and you liked mine. So that told me a lot. Like, are you serious? But anyways, something else on Facebook that is a pet peeve of mine. Probably the biggest pet peeve is why in the world are you gonna send me a friend's request on Facebook and as soon as I accept your request you get on my Facebook page you never talk to me you never say anything to me you never even like anything that I got going on on my page I know look okay let me tell you, I'm pretty obsessive on Facebook, okay? So, I post a lot of stuff. So, I know it's something out of everything that I post that you have to like something. I know you like something on that page, you know, something, a status, a meme, something on there you got to like. So, don't tell me you get, you know, a picture or something. Don't tell me you come on that Facebook page and you just sitting there and there's nothing at all that you see on this page that interests you. So why did you send me the request? That's all I want to know. Why would you send me a request and get on there and just don't do anything? Like, I don't understand that. Like, is that what it's about? Well... With a lot of people, that's what it's about. You know, they'll send you a friend's request and they just sit there. They never talk to you. They never say anything to you. They never like anything that you post or nothing. 
and it's weird to me so that's a pet peeve and I'm just wondering why do people do that you know it's annoying it's a pet peeve and I'm gonna stop accepting these requests you know that get on there and just don't say nothing it's basically the same thing as you're subscribing to my YouTube channel, but you never ever watch my videos. Like, I don't know. I'm I understand a little more on YouTube because you know it's a lot of people on YouTube, and sometimes, you know, you might not have the time to. If you're a bigger channel, maybe you don't have the time to watch everybody's videos. But I'm just not understanding that at all on Facebook. It's like you send me a friend's request, you know, you get there, you never say a word, you never find anything you like on there. And like I said, I'm pretty obsessive on Facebook, so I post, okay? I post on Facebook, so it has to be something, something that you see that you like. So why send me a request? Get on that Facebook page and I hear nothing else from you ever again or I don't even know you're there unless I see you saying something on your channel and I see it why what's the reason to send me a request if you never are gonna say anything like I just don't get this stuff like on Facebook and on social media like I, I don't get it at all like you know I just don't get it I don't people are so caught up in numbers these days on social media and it's just it's weird are you just sending me a friend's request because you want you want um I don't know are you sending me a request just because of a number just to have a number like you want a lot of numbers you want 300 Facebook friends and you want 500 Facebook friends and that's all that counts to you that's all that matters I just don't understand that because I don't care if I had 20 Facebook friends you know as long as we are communicating sometimes like a number doesn't mean anything like I don't understand but anyways I just don't get it I really don't get it but those are just a few of my Facebook pet peeves the one that happened to me recently and the biggest one of all why are you sending me a Facebook request, a friend's request, and you just get there and you never say anything? I don't understand it. But anyways, that's it for this pet peeve, this pet peeve chit chat angels. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, and even share because this needs to get around to a lot of people because I'm tired of this silly mess going on on Facebook. It just gets on my nerves. Okay. Thanks, angels. See you guys in my next video. Bye.